Welcome one, welcome all to another Summoner's War video. Yay for more of the usual weekly PvP content that we go through every single Monday at around 2 p.m. Central Standard Time or 6 p.m. For those of you watching this on YouTube and want to come out to one of my streams, again, it is every Monday at either 2 p.m. or 6 p.m. Central mm. Standard Time. Or, or in this case... Technically somewhere in between. Yeah, or technically <laughs> somewhere in between. I stream every Monday, that's the whole point. A link to my Twitch will be down in the description below if you want to go give it a follow. Your Twitch? Would you've had too much caffeine? Actually, not enough today. Because <laughs> I'm stuck drinking this shit. There's caffeine in tea. You tell me if there's caffeine in that. There should be. In generally speaking, brewing tea creates caffeine. It doesn't say caffeine free, I'll just say that. Yes, there's caffeine. It is there. Right there. Holy crap, there's a whole whopping 7 milligrams of caffeine per 12 fluid ounces. That's... Yeah, brewing tea just kind of creates caffeine. It's just like one of its things. Uh oh You might not have a good day. Wait, why would you why would you Lucian HP tanks with an HP lead? Because no one ever said I was intelligent, that's why. Oh god. <sighs> You'd have been better bulwarking that. <laughs> Yeah, unless you can get out another Ant Magic, you might have a rough time. It's done. Yeah, you should be able to get out another Ant Magic. You just lost your Bulwark in the process, but whatever. Bulwark? Or. The fire version of him! <laughs> Balinger! That thing! Uh, so what's the battery look like? Okay, yeah, you're good. Yeah, dude, my battery drains, like, really slow. It's actually kind of fantastic. Indeed. Dude, my phone drains battery faster than my tablet playing a game, and all I have to do is just be, like, texting on it or something. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Mm. No. I can just do a shield little cleave. Be fine. Should be fine. Let's hope. You'll figure it out. Because the previous guild battle was, uh,. I mean, it was easy, but I made a mistake on one of them, and it cost me. It was really annoying. <laughs> hey, look, a violent galleon. Those kind of hey, suck. Are you done? I mean, they're great for PvP, but screw them for dungeons, honestly. They just take extra turns for no reason. I'm glad that you stunned me. Stop it. <laughs> uh, you know, it's moments like this that every now and then I kind of wish that, you know, our guild was this super crazy high-end guild, specifically so I could do the interesting matches. Because, I mean, usually on Mondays, it's not really... Eh. It's just... I don't know. Full of farming defenses half the time. And, eh. Hey, I've got a spot for you in uh, So Fucking Epic. Do I even qualify for them? Yeah. Yeah, they have C3s and C2s and shit in there. It's just, do you want to deal with the fucking G3 Siege? I don't think so. I'm not YDCB. I don't feel like raging that hard. 
Well, I mean, if you built like five copper dozer comps, you'd do fine. <laughs> and a bunch of Amesides, because Amesides dozer or Amesides copper, um, come on. For the speed yeah. lead. I don't know, maybe. I might end up having to do that at some point, just to kind of bring... Let's see what it's like. <laughs> well, a mixture of that, and then also oh just to bring interesting content to the stream, because I think people would get a kick out of that, watching me struggle in a G3 siege battle. Alright, let's see. What do we have? I haven't actually looked at the siege. According to the Logic Falcon over here... It's easy. But we shall see. Usually what's easy for him is a little bit more difficult for me because I suck. I mean, there was... I mean, I didn't even look at um, the... These are... <laughs> CR, CR Orion on every tower. Are you kidding me? Uh, and, then a, and then a fire threat. Uh, uh, I don't like that. Uh, I, I, I really just don't like that at all. Oh god. I don't... Oh god. I don't have that much shield will. Um... I mean, you could Lucian one of them, probably. Is there a fire threat on every single one? There's a fire threat on every single one. 17, 25, 28, Okay, so that's that's probably the one I'm going to have luck loosening because it has a lot of losses, very, very, very few wins. Plus, titty, I mean, let's be honest. Tilty Tuesdays. Can... Okay, I read that as Titty Tuesdays. Okay. Titty Tuesday! <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, though. Konamiya can, and Bernard can probably duo the Oki as long as you actually clear the CR and Orion. Or should I speed lead? I mean, you better hope your galleons, or your uh, galleon, fucking Bernard's really quick. Because, I mean, the downfall is, is I recently slowed my Coney down a little bit. That's fast enough. Mine's slower. You only need about plus 135-ish if you have well, a plus 180 Bernard. Well, basically... I wouldn't do that. No. I think your Bernard's fast there. Plus your Susano's not on Will, right? So you might take my a Susano's bomb. not on Will. Woo! Um, goodbye, everything. Okay. So now I'm kind of wishing I would have left the Nat Four Towers alone because I could have helped with this tower. I have a lot of counters to this kind of bullshit. I don't want to waste my Tiana for something like that. Uh... It's a riot. You need a cleanser. If you're not planning on outspeeding. Fair enough. Now this is the part where the Orion's gonna strip my Lydia, and then Oki's gonna be like, oh hi, you have a defense break on you now. Nope. Ah! Don't do it. Nope. <laughs> Love it. 100% resistance, Tiana, OP. Indeed. No regrets. <laughs> no regrets. <laughs> Squeaky! <laughs> Alright, so the question is, what the fuck do we do against the other ones? I mean, you could probably, um... Do something like Kumar, Ritesh, and a plus one. Uh, the plus one, I would probably use something that's immunity and a cleanser, like Delphoi. Plus, the defense leader skill for wind would actually be nice because Perna's gonna be tanking on it. Unless the defense break from Orion ships to Kumar. But then you still have the cleanse and immunity. That's probably what I would do. Plus, I'm pretty sure your Delphoi and Ritesh can take a bomb without too much problems. Really, where it would get bad is if the heal block landed on, uh, like the heal block and the stun landed on Delphoi and Delphoi took a bomb. Then it could end bad, but Ritesh could probably finish it off if you did, like, Ritesh and Kumar. But you'd have to have some pretty bad RNG for that to not work. They don't have an attack buff. And you have all of the sustain, plus cleanse and immunity. And cooldown reset. And then you can just cleanse it with Delphoi.
Yeah, I would go after her. She's got a bomb next turn. I don't think she's surviving next turn. I don't know, maybe this comp was too strong. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna do that just in case. Okay. God, I love Delphoi. She's so strong. She really is. Okay. Two more. This one's a Vanessa. I should have saved my stones for this rotation. I don't have any of them. I just summoned one. I was like, wait, there's Varad in this list now. I, I mean, I didn't have any nat fives from some of these stones anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered. Would have been nice, though. Hmm. I'd love a Varad. I wonder. Ramahan? Against Ciara? I mean, you'd clear the Ciara easy, but the problem, though, is if, uh, if the Orion strips Will off your Ramahan and, def will. and defense breaks, you have problems. But also resistance lead. And True, then we can I mean, do her. Um, Maybe. I almost feel like you'd be better off with Lure. Or just any AoE defense breaker. You can do Lure. Lure, Galleon, anything, really. Because you can murder the Ciara with the third skill, and then, or murder the Orion with the third skill, then second skill the Ciara, and now you're not gonna have a defense buff. So I'd probably just go straight for the uh, Ciara with the third skill, maybe. I don't know, because it's gonna revive with an attack buff. Then again, you could just kill it again, because it's only got 30% HP. Honestly, Ramahan is really fucking good. Yeah, it feels nice to actually, you know, use I it. know, I haven't been able to find a freaking comp I wanted to bring me into yet! I'm sorry, I'm just a little salty about that. <laughs> Can you tell? Yes! <laughs> it's like I build this thing and I'm like, he's great, he's gonna be fantastic, I wanna play with him, and then I haven't had the chance to use him once in the last three fucking siege battles. And it's just like, oh, this is, this is cool. <laughs> okay. Ramahan OP. 38k. No defense buff. No defense lead. Yep. God. Ramahan. I mean, to be fair, it was low HP. His multi Yeah, yeah, it does go crazy. It goes up to a 1200% at low HP. Mm. Dude, if you actually take this whole tower without losing one, people are going to be like, wait, what? <laughs> you get Say. that message. You get that message, was it, does it say five wins in a row, or does it only go to seven? I don't remember, actually. If it, I can't remember, but if it says five wins in a row, and that you've, you know, successfully eaten that whole tower by yourself, then they're gonna be like, wait, hold up, that was the Ciara Orion tower. I bet Orion's gonna outspeed me. It might. No, because this one has, uh, 25 wins, only 13 losses. But Orion's gonna outspeed me. It might. Should I bring something safer? I think I should bring something safer. Triana. Or, uh, Galleon Triana Theo. Then, Galleon uh, Triana Theo? Because then Dickwad's gonna tank your, uh, your Triana. And you can cleanse, uh, a stun off of either Galleon or your, uh, Theo Mars. You're just gonna have to go after, like, a last. Oh, and it tries to bomb Theo. I'd probably save the heal. <laughs> I 
So I think you pressed the easy button. Why did I need Triana again? Hey, you know. I forgot my, I forgot my Theolar is, is, you know, the typical one in the sense of it likes to violent rock. A lot. Yeah. Apparently. <laughs> Let's go and throw some defenses on here. Go ahead and throw so that one. Throw mine on, because they took uh, two of my defenses off. Hmm? Ah! <laughs> Thanks for the follow. I didn't even notice that there was anyone in the chat. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, it's saying zero viewers Hold right on. now. Well, let me try and refresh. It's still saying zero viewers. Ah, I don't know. It's being weird. But thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. I can actually hear the notifications now. It's nice. Uh, where is... I'm really low. It's... Good God, man. What? I put farming defenses up, man. I noticed. I don't want to have high arena rank. I want people to be like, oh, this guy's just like... You know, F1 or Challenger 3. <laughs> Let me just, you know, throw in whatever and then be like, oh god, he has runes. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll go ahead and do that one. And. How are the runes on this guy? Um. Well, he's using the crit. Oh, no, that's Arena Lead, though. Why are. Um. <sighs> okay. Next! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, throw up, does E does I E ten or however you pronounce that have one? Because he has uh, good defenses. If I can find him in the list, there, there we go. Oh, there's the bottom. Yeah, he has some legit. Uh, we'll go and do. Defenses. Dude, throw up his bottom one. Yeah, yeah, we'll that, do that one. That Chandra almost can't be coppered. Because <laughs> he has what Chandra. two or three shield sets? Oh, in that wait, team as shield well. energy. Shield. Yeah, he has two, two shield two sets. Shield sets. It takes us. Oh 60, wait, I just realized that's plus forty three thousand. It takes us sixty six, sixty seven k copper to clear that. So mine wouldn't. God, mine damn. would only if it got a very high roll. Yep. But most of the time oh, wait. it wouldn't. Oh, I can't hit anything. Two minutes. I gotta wait two minutes to hit something. <laughs> damn it. Two minutes to hit. Oh. Cause yeah, because there's I can't, I literally can't attack anybody. <laughs> I'm sorry, I took tower with me in. What? I don't, I, I'm a sore loser, so I just prefer to not do it, right? I just, I just make the choice to not lose because I, I don't like losing. I mean, all right. Well, isn't that how that usually works? Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Well, we go ahead and wait for that. We'll go ahead and, uh, we'll go ahead and do this. Oh, Jesus. We'll do this. Season ten, RTA. We finished C two last season. Almost which, C yeah, almost C3, nuking, which, that's, that, Dude, that's an achievement. nobody does that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that, that's like an achievement. So, I really, really, really want to try and get C3 this season. We are going to be gunning for it uh, over the next, uh, however long the season lasts. I think it's two months or something like that. We're really going to try. We are really going to try. Leebly, stop not stunning. Don't mind him, he's running through TOA. <laughs> it's, just, it's just revenging me over and over, because my units are like, hey, this thing has a defense break in low HP, let me just keep poking it for it to keep revenging. Zam? Whatever. It's he has two single target strips. I don't know which one I like or dislike more. The one that gives... Mm, the invincibility, I'm thinking, and immunity? Mm, Ethna can done, though. I don't know, it also really depends on what he throws up last. But I mean, technically, that one can, too, because those are usually built on violent. Fucking Triana. Um, I don't care about the Triana. I'm, I'm the go up against immunity, anyway. I'm... Mm, I feel like I don't like the monkey more, because... I don't know. Because the AoE stun. Because the other option is, is I get rid of their attack buff. I wouldn't do that. I need to get rid of the monkey. Monkey. And of course, you know, they're going to get rid of Tiana. Yep. Well, they always get rid of Tiana. Yeah, it's like you pull a Tiana and people are like, Yeah, get our Tiana with her. Nope. Nope. Tiana always banned. Every time. Never fails. I don't know. Unless you have something more ridiculous, they might want to ban instead. Like, if you throw up a Gianna, they'd probably ban that instead. <laughs> like, let's just... And oh, and stun. The stun. Yep. Wait, why would they stun Beth? Uh huh. That's like, okay, well, thanks for the attack buff. <laughs> I guess. I feel like you should have... They should have gone for either Oki or Lydia. Now, the question is, should I attempt to reset or should I just AoE damage? I'd probably just AoE damage. AoE damage. They don't really have a whole lot of CC in that team. Mm 
Okay. You didn't. Oh wait, yeah, you did. You crit on the uh. Let's see, is it despair? Uh, yeah, it's on despair. It yeah. stunned my Lydia. Your Oki might be able to finish off Vanessa. Maybe. Let's go ahead and reset her. Oh, or it can kill her. Like that I works said, too. Finish off. They have a healer. Actually, two healers. Oh, come on! If your Lydia gets a turn, it might be okay, but even then, you're only gonna be able to kill one thing. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> Don't stun. Thank you. And, and immunity! Heal. I don't know, I have a feeling that's gonna one shot the uh, Ethna. I'd poke the Ethna. I mean, racked up a bit of damage. Nope. I mean, it wasn't too far off, but. I don't know, maybe Wind Monkey would have been better to, to uh, or, uh, leave Water Monkey in. I mean, props for that Fran surviving, though. Usually. Well, it only survived because of the Triana. No, the Triana procced uh, with the Ethna. Because mm. the Ethna didn't actually take damage when your Lydia attacked. And then attack break and attack bar control, right? Yep. Starting off strong. Yes. All right, we'll do more of those in a moment. So should be able to go through and... Yes! Hit more towers. Okay, what do we got? Wait, was that triple paladin? Yes, it was. Why? I don't know. That's copper dozer food. And before it's a triple defense Chandra. <laughs> and a triple HP uh, wind panda. Oh, I've I'd seen be mad. it. I've seen it. <laughs> Nope. Oh, he didn't uh, poke the, the provoke you douchebag. <laughs> Just in case. It's safer. Plus, he can't heal. He's just going to keep stunning your bulldozer, and you're just going to laugh at it while your copper pummels him with his hammer. <laughs> That's on despair. No, it just means less violent. I'm okay with this. Get out. And <laughs> boop. And that's the other thing about, you know, G1 Siege is until you actually start getting really high up there in, uh, in the ranks, like around 4%, it's it's easy. I, mean, I don't know. I never had any problems with really any siege battle. Well, no, there was one that I had problems with, but it was actually pretty okay. early in uh, in the G one. It just depends on your um, luck of the draw, who you get picked with, how many of the same fucking oh, defenses is people he have. Faster than my sink? No. Yeah, because you need a defense breaker. Lure. I need a defense breaker. Mentora. Ah, Mentora. Good choice. Thank you. The problem, uh, though, is if that uh, Theo's on will, your Mentora might outspeed it. How much speed's on your Mentora? Plus 109. Well, that's... I mean, they have a command lead. So, I mean, as long as that Theo's, like, plus 85, you'll outspeed... Or, it'll outspeed you. So, he's also not on will, which is scary. Oh, they don't have will either. Why would the why would the come on defense break? Whatever. Doesn't matter. Theo Mars is gone. Speed low? No, oh, it's done. Beautiful. And a little bit of that. And good day. <laughs> Thank you for the Mentora suggestion. I did not I've never used Mentora in Siege. Really? I've never I never have. Because he's not on will. Yeah, I usually don't. Because of lack of will runes, but I don't know. I usually end up scrounging around for options all the damn time. So I mean, um, I kind of weigh everything. I no, I don't think I can bulver at this one. I wouldn't. They don't have any buffs at all. No, they don't. 
could do that. I could do her. And... You need a healer. Skill. And technically she also is a healer. Yeah, as long as you don't get provoked chain into the ground. Yeah, which there's a decent chance that I mean, I think my harmonia is on Nemesis, not on Will. So Yeah, but she does have good resistance. She does have good resistance. And it turned. Mm, I'd probably just poke it and see if you sleep it. Go sleep? No. Nope. Out resistance. I don't know what it resisted, but it resists its own. that nonsense. Oh, well there goes that. Except then it didn't really make much difference. Um, if you unwanted Harmony the Skogel, you m actually... Mm, no, because the aerial is going to heal. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and just cleanse that. Cover some health. Need seconds go. Yeah. I always forget that she has that. I don't even have that unit. How? <laughs> I'm a guard, man. You're gonna have to line things up right, or let yeah, yourself no. take a lot of damage. After this, um, this rock, you might actually... Yeah, I probably Dark Recovery, uh, her. Yeah. And then your Skogel might actually kill it. Yep. Beautiful. <laughs> now your Skogel is doing a whole lot more damage. Awesome. I will take it. I love Skogel. <laughs> Dude, Skogel's too strong, man. I know. And I have two more sitting in my storage, max skilled, waiting for me to build them. <laughs> I have one more. I haven't pulled three yet, but... I mean, it's Skogel. You know, you can never have too many Skogels. <laughs> exactly. Um, fucking Skogel. Hmm. Good day. And now you need is one rock. Yeah, I'd like to see an aerial take that. Mine sure as hell wouldn't. And that one really isn't going to. It's only healing itself for a 10k. Ugh. Mine's not even on an HP percent and it heals more than that. Pop. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. You said it wrong. I love it! And I don't even remember the reference that that is, but I know it's a reference of something. Indeed. I hold some memory. <laughs> Dude, I feel like that's so easy. Like, what the hell? Choices, 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 choices. You have a first skill defense break? Mm, I have him. I don't know if I'd bring that against Fire Pally. Fire Pally does damage based off its max health. Have you already used Bella? No, I haven't used Bella yet. Because you could do Bella as a first skill defense breaker. You could use, um, oh, you already took Driller off runes. Um, I mean, really, Bella of anything. Like, Beast Monks, Chow. Chow would work great. You just don't want stunts. I do like the idea of Chow. And Chow's going to murder everything in that. And then Bella's going to defense break the little douchebag who provokes you. And remember that uh, the way the provoke chain works with, um, with the fire paladin. Oh. But the uh, provoke takes priority. <clears throat> it's funny. I actually have a comp like that, but I feel like they didn't really do it right. And screw the resistance lead. Seriously, somebody's just gonna copper dozer you. So what does it matter? Plus, why would you use a resistance lead if you're using a water pally? Like, don't you want to take the stuns? Uh, they don't really have a whole lot of buffs. He throws just... up a buff every turn. Anytime that he crits, he buffs himself. Yeah, but that's only two things. Yeah, but I also have might... buffs here. Mm -hmm. Work.
that might not kill. Bad, actually. I feel like you need to go after a Theo. And then goodbye for long. Okay. Yeah, that's one of the other reasons I wouldn't have done that team. I wouldn't divine wind, I just hope something. Gonna re Hold up, did I forget to switch my arena defense? Oh god, my Samoth soloed someone. <laughs> and they were a level 50. Maybe they- I feel like they had to have crashed. You pop the endure. Well, Ratesh is dead. You want to kill him. Now they don't have sustain. Violent cracked out of it for you. Eh. Don't know yet. All right. Throw defenses on that for me. Sure. Thank you. and shit. Mm. Defense records. Okay, yeah, this one's definitely the most dangerous. We will do... Yep. We'll do... Just a fire tank, whatever. There and then your defenses. See this? Huh. You've got one defense there, then it's Sam Ailes. That's Sam Ailes, and then you've got another three that down there. Like, why aren't they all in the list? That's weird. Shouldn't they all be in a row? See your double pally defense. I know that one works. Mm. One of the Let's do this one. This should work fine. Breaking out the Ramagos. Ramagod? 
Yeah. Though he's technically not going to be the target, um, well, except for that. Why don't you ram adjust then? Because it just seems like a safe bet. Um, not really. Because you have, like, nothing that heals your Juno. Your Juno's dead. Like, your Juno is very much dead. Why'd you bring Juno? Oh my god, you. Oh! 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 oh, 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 oh. And then a Vinyl Frost. Dude. I'd probably go after Mo Long. Maybe. And then, and then fucking Chandra's just gonna fuck it. I don't know, I really don't like this comp. I, I would have suggested other things. It's late. I mean, if you could get rid of the Harmonia, then Mo Long, I mean, uh, the Ramagos could actually solo the rest, but. That's the question. You're gonna have to hurt the Harmonia a lot. And it heals itself for 10k. I don't know if your Ramagos has enough HP. Like, he's gonna have to get to really low. Yeah, you're just gonna have to hope he gets really low without him actually dying. And you're gonna have to kill the Harmonia. It's just the problem is the Molong can reckless assault him out. So you can't let him get to low HP. And then reckless assault. I just got through using Reckless too. Yeah. That would have been perfect. Except you may not have had enough HP. If you had that, if you had one cooldown, man, you could have taken, oh man. But yeah, I would not have used that comp. Well, <sighs> anytime you want to use Ramagos, you want him to be the primary target. Whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm, dude, I'm trying to keep like keep you from making the same mistake again. It really doesn't matter. It's just crap siege. Ever since they screwed over with that one update several months ago, it's like barely even worth doing. Mm, still got like 200 crystals to siege battle. I mean, it was nice when we were getting like fucking 700. Yeah. Fuck. Back in the days, remember you and I were basically the only people who actually did siege. Dude, I remember getting literally an entire premium pack from one siege. I'm just like, this feels nice. And then they're like, hey, fuck you, guy. You can't do this anymore. Because we want to split all your rewards with all the people who, you know, don't fucking contribute. Yeah. Oh, and normally, uh, this stream would have been the TOA summons and everything. Except it but reset yesterday. <laughs> exactly, it reset yesterday, which is on an off day. Which is just exceptionally annoying. Um, yeah, I still haven't even done TOA hard yet. I'm on like 67, I think. Yeah. So, the TOA summons, I'm actually going to be saving all of my summons for a big collective summon. Um, and uh, that is going to be whenever Zyros is in the stone rotation. Right now I have about 1,200 stones saved up, which, whatever, I know it's not that much, but still. I have about 1,200 stones saved, and by the time Zyros comes around, I should have about 2,500 stones. Shit, the only time I've ever pulled a nat 5 from stones trying to save stones was an Alicia, and I was saving stones for a Lucian. And by the way, I didn't get the Lucian. <laughs> Every other nat 5 I've had, I wasn't saving stones. It's just like, fuck it. I ended up getting, I think, 3 or 4 from stones, just like, 
random summons here and there. Uh oh. What does it matter? You still got Will on your uh, Lydia. Here's the thing: is my Lydia even gonna? That just <laughs> that just double revive because it killed itself. <laughs> oh, yep, doesn't matter. Goodbye, sweetie. Yeah, it's like you didn't use uh, Tiana's second skill. Uh, yeah, I didn't skill. use it for a reason. <laughs> yeah, because Samoth is kind of, sort of, a bit of a Tiana counter. Well, that and Amduat. And Amduat, yep. That's why they left Tiana in. Poseidon. Okay, best stat. Should I pick Lucian? Not yet. Because he might steal Okeanos. Double polar queen. I have a pull on Alicia, a triple polar queen. <laughs> I have triple polar queen. Ah! Oh, no! You know the funny thing is, with what they have right now, if you banned the Garrow, you could solo that with a uh, Grago. <laughs> so a lot of single target ignore defense. Um, should I bring Triana? No, because then you could just ban one of the nukers that would be required to kill Garrow. Should I throw in another nuker? Yeah, you throw in another nuker. And I would probably ban... It's either that or past that. Mm, probably ban the... Fuck. Uh, I'd probably ban the Odin. Because he's going to revive. Yeah. Like, period. I'll go ahead and run an HP lead, just in case. Uh, this is a tricky one. I'm gonna laugh when he tries to ignore defense on your uh, Tiana, but I doubt it. He's probably gonna go straight for Beth, because Beth is the most threat to the Garrow. I think. I mean, technically anything in your team minus the Tiana can kill Garrow. Okay, so he's going after Oki. That only hit a 29k. That must be a very hybrid one. Alright, land the fence breaks on everything, please. Beautiful! Really, dude? Why are you trying? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, best step solo that? Yeah, okay. Now that was like just Racky left versus best step, and then maybe, but then again, Racky's third skill can't glance. Though it cannot crit. It cannot crit, believe me, I've seen that one happen. Because you do get the reduced crit chance. Oh no. I'm going against Saitama. Oh god! <laughs> wait, I'm not bad. He's gonna first pick Zeratu. <laughs> or wait, that would technically be three punches. <laughs> Unless it was, uh, I don't know, negative 20% crit rate or some shit, which... No, he, he's, he's gonna throw in, uh, <laughs> uh, Daphnis, because technically it's one hit, it just, it also yeah. strips, then defense breaks, and yeah. then hits on top of that. Yeah. I don't know, who the fuck would one punch man be in, in Summoner's War? Copper? <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> I mean, technically, the Drunken Masters, they punch, but they don't really hit very hard. No, I mean, it's an ignore defense first skill that doesn't really... Yeah. I mean, I think the hardest I've seen a Drunken Master hit was, like, 24k in his first skill, and that's, like, on pretty god runes. Of 
course, Ethna. Ethna, yay! I don't think your Lucian is surviving. It's very unlikely that yeah, he's just gonna get CC'd and go down. Yeah, he's most he's most likely just gonna get stripped and CC'd. I don't know. I think I lost this one. Yeah, I mean, if the guy plays it smart and second skills your uh, your Lucian with uh, what's her name with Hathor, and then next go around, then just AOE sleeps you, then you're gonna have a serious problems. Yep, going after the Lucian. Nope, he doesn't, even, he doesn't even have to. Then there goes Lydia. Yeah, it's over at this point. There's no, There's literally nothing you can do. Too bad you don't have a cone of Mia. <laughs> She'd be like, research! Ah, eh, fucker! Yep. And then there's the AoE Sleep. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop that. that that's... Uh, I hate it whenever I go up against teams like that, because then shit like that always happens. Yep. You have to hit them really hard turn one. Well, yeah, but it's difficult, too, because of what Hathor does. Hathor always takes out one of my nukers, unless my nuker resists, which... Fat chance of that. And of course, another Hathor. And an Artemail! Okay. Okay, so you know how the N key is right next to my spacebar? Yep. Yeah. If I type Lu Lucian speeds, because I'm trying to say Lucian speeds it up, but I actually hit the N instead of the spacebar, it wants to. It wants to autocorrect to mishandle, lawnmowers, or panhandlers. Okay then. What? Um, <laughs> I think we'll try to Lucian this and get rid of Lyca. Yeah. Get rid of the Lyca. The problem with trying to Lucian something is he can just sleep the Lucian with Hathor, and it's gonna be another. I don't know. They have immunity. The benefit about this go around though is he doesn't have. Uh... Yeah, but he doesn't need to. Because he just second skills with Hathor, and there you go. Then next turn, you don't have will, he just AoE sleeps you. Like, I mean, if your Lucian resists it, but that's really the only way you're winning this. Also, what the fuck, Darian? Really? I'm confused. You're about to lose to a Darian. This is about to feel really bad. Oh, resistance! Don't strip stun, don't strip stun, don't strip- Oh, don't kill, don't kill, don't do it. He did attack break, though. That's also bad. Yeah, I think the attack break fucked you. Well, maybe not. I mean... Maybe not. Come on, Lucian, do it! 6k card! Nope, not even 6k card. Oof. Nope, yep. You just lost to a, um... A Darian. Feels bad, man. I also want to point out, with the amount of health they had left, that Darian actually made the difference. <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> uh, so when are you gonna build a Darien? Never. I fucking hate Darien. Dude, Darien is meta. He's so meta. Oh, of course, it's violent. Violent revenge Darien, man. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> and... <sighs> if only it was realistic for me to build a speed illusion that can clear like 12k a card. I wish. Let me just give you Rose Lucian. Have you seen it? No. <laughs> it's so good. What? Tablo? I haven't seen someone use a Tablo in forever. That's uh that's a dog hair right there. That's that's what that is. Let me show you this Lucian. It is it is a Lucian, man. Yes, it is a draft. Yeah, 
that's uh that's pretty beastly illusion. Dude, almost plus nineteen hundred attack, plus hundred and eight speed, a hundred percent crit rate, and hundred and eighty one percent crit damage on swift will. That is a sexy illusion. <laughs> yeah, that's what I need illusion to look like. But I don't have runes like that. I'm not G3. He isn't either. Actually, he doesn't oh my even God, spend does money on this game. Everybody have half or. I'm sorry, I have a half or. Yeah, I know, and I hate you for it because you're like, oh, half or sucks. And that's I, like, what do I use her for? You're a fucking pleb. I don't do RTA. So what the fuck do I use her for? She God, doesn't work in siege. Pleb. She doesn't work in arena for offense or really even defense. She's definitely not a defense monster in any fucking means, like whatsoever. Like nerf half or 2019. There it did. Apparently not enough. Because she used to 100. Uh, she used to 75 percent attack bar control AOE. Now she only 100 percent attack bar controls one and 30 percent everything else. So that was kind of a bit of a nerf, sort of. Though it messes with speed tuning, which is, you know, kind of bad. At least douchebag's gonna die. It's just the problem though is I don't think you're gonna be able to actually kill anything here. Cause they're just gonna CC you and then it's gonna give Dick Wild enough turn uh, time to get another heal going on. Dude, I don't even want to talk about fucking that one dot when it comes to Theo. And then of course you exchange the, the sleep for a stun, because why- and then of course you have a 100% crit rate against a wind monster. Okay. Yeah, because you know, why wouldn't it? It's fucking chow. Not having fun with this. See why I don't RTA. Plus, honestly, the rewards are garbage. Like, to get any even- Yeah, but you don't stream now, do you? Yeah, but to get any decent reward, you have to be able to get into G1, and that's just so fucking difficult. It's just not worth it. Now, I mean, if you had, you know, some crazy friggin' monsters, then yeah, by all means, try, but you don't. Mm -hmm. Like that one friend I have that's in G3 RTA right now, he's got fucking Gianna. I'm gonna try something weird. I'm gonna do something weird. Where's my copper and dozer? Copper, dozer. Where are you guys? Copper, dozer, Megan. <laughs> Actually, I need my Megan, thank you. Megan. Copper's right next to you, and there's dozer. The problem though is you need Lucian too. Like, you needed... Was that Ramahan? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, of course! The fucking Triton! Oh, shit. Oh, it's a good thing my Megan's on shield will! Yeah, but you pretty much have to ban the Triton. And even then, somebody's taking a strip, period. I don't know. So, something weird. Let's we're just doing something weird. Let's let's this, see what happens. This is so not gonna work. <laughs> I don't have faith in this. And of course you. Oh my god. Of course your Oki decides to strip the will. Ugh. Well, Ramahan's dead. Okay. Oh, and your bot. Okay. That's a little different. Damn. And of course, didn't violent proc. Nope. Why would it? 
I mean, hey, you might be able to get lucky and hunt something. So the question is, what? I, I don't mean, know. I'd probably do Hathor, I think. It's just then the CR can still nuke something. But at least you won't have an AoE CC. Oh my god, then a bomb. She's not the fence broken. Oh, so close. Come on! I mean, to be fair, you did a weird team. That's another thing I hate about uh, RTA. It's always changing. So, like, something you do that's awesome for one season won't work at all for the next. Like when I got my first C1 finish back when Mo Long actually worked, then they're like, hey, fuck you, Mo Long, and just fan hammered him. And then past that point, I couldn't even use him, he didn't even win. Like, he was just useless. Bernard? Okay. Lucian. So far, there's only one thing to ban. Okay. Is it my soul? It's a very strange comp. And I mean there, it's not yours. I'm actually curious to see how hard you hit that friend, Smother. hoping it would kill it though. I mean friends are usually pretty squishy. But you can easily pull those into Vanessa. Goodbye Vanessa. Of course. Of course! to lose to a fucking Bernard. Are you serious right now? Stop with the violent procs! And you still the- DUDE! Ooh, if I get lucky, I can use my Amelia after one more skill. I'm gonna 
keep on doing this until it works. I want to see it work. I want to wreck somebody with Ramahan. It'd be easier if you had a, like, you know, team with no fucking immunity to go up against. And then you can just AoE defense break something, kill one thing, and then... Well, the issue is, is everyone keeps on throwing up Fran. Well, yeah, Fran. She's, like, stupid meta. Actually, I'm surprised we haven't really been seeing Bird Hills anymore. choice. Villagel can easily snipe Illusion. I'm assuming that's Ganymede. I can't tell if it's Ganymede, it's Ganymede. or Daphnis. It's Ganymede. And then Pisama. I'm gonna laugh when he bans the friggin' Ramahan. Though he's probably gonna ban Tiana, cause you know, he doesn't ban Tiana. <laughs> I actually think he might win this one. Would be nice. I mean, he doesn't have any sustain. Like, literally, has no sustain. And I'm still trying to figure out why he brought the frigate. Like, what was the <laughs> purpose of that? I have no idea. Hey, let me just go ahead and, like, attack Barboos twice while you still have immunity up. I mean, that's, that's a great idea, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, seriously, what, what was that? Like, why? so close. Ah, uh, uh, was so close. Uh, you just poke it with douchebag. I would just AoE. So it hits everything, you know? And then glancing. I, st I still don't, like, get what that guy's team was supposed to do. Yeah, I have no idea. Also, I'm really curious to see, like, what you, what would happen if you were to throw your Ramahan on, like, a legitimate rage set. Like, basically bulldozer runes, but with higher crit rate. Dude, you, you'd you one-shot things through will runes, and people would be like, what the fuck? And then, you know, procs in your additional turn. And then you can strip something, or defense break something, or whatever. Or if it's even, like, super squishy, you could just... Nuke it too. Oh. Is that Daphnis? Yes. I don't like Daphnis. Though he might that might mean he's keep letting you keep your Tiana. But then again, it's probably the safer bet to just ban it and then pop the Oki with Daphnis. Or what? I don't have Daphnis, and I'm banning the Daphnis. It'd be safer for him to ban your Tiana and then pop your Oki with Daphnis. Which is what I was saying, he's probably not letting you keep the Tiana. Of course, I mean, no, nobody lets me keep Tiana. I mean, it happens sometimes. This guy actually had the proper attack order. To my dismay. Okay. That's gonna 
to save her, but she's on cooldown now. My birth. And then I should be able to AoE stun with him here in a moment. And then Violent Proc heal. Just let my Oki get a turn, please. Jesus. Don't hit Triana. Or was the Triana on Nemesis? I don't was it know. on Will? There's the violent proc. I'm waiting for that. I wish my Bastet would do that! Oh. But... What was the attack up down? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Fucking bullshit. I wonder if it'd be better to lose all your placement battles. I don't know. A 30% win that's rate, that's really, sure. really bad. Yeah, if you go do better, go go. I could. Then go do it. Uh, did you not hear me when I said it on RTA? The rewards aren't worth it. Speaking of, I know I got, um... What was it? Right, it was, uh... Two, five, really... Plus I kind of have, like, half comps for RTA. Like, I don't have Ganymede, but I do have Hathor. And I do have Okeanos, but I don't have Ganymede. I have Jameer, but nobody RTA's Jameer. No, oh, God, no. Alright, well, I'll go ahead and do one summon. Not gonna do my LD. Let's do a Mystical Scroll. Survey says... No, nada. Ooh, Gumpion. Alright. Um, there we go. Well, damn food if you ever pull one. Yeah, if I ever pull one. That's the thing. Man, that's the exact reason why I don't... St I only do RTA because stream stuff. Because I do not like the way RTA makes me feel. I really don't. It's just not worth it. Like, even my uh, G1 friend, or G3 friend uh, in RTA was bitching about how it's just not worth it to do RTA. It just doesn't give any, like, decent rewards. It's just all cosmetics, really. I mean, I'd love to get the transmogs, but, like, once you get them, then, like, what the fuck's the point of RTA? <laughs> like, you have to spend hours doing it just to get, like, five transmog stones or a very small amount of summons. Oh, do I have anything I can re app? No, that's a defense percent. Of course, because I never get HP percent violent runes. Just doesn't happen. Wait, uh, can I craft. Yes, I can. Let's see if we can get a decent reap out of the ancient reap stones. Let's see if we can turn one of the runes into anything halfway decent. Wait, violence not one of the things. Uh, rage. I'd probably save them all for. That's already That's... a good rune, Jesus. That just needs a curse switch. Oh, yeah, I'll show you the, uh, rage room that I got recently. Nope. And by recently, I mean I re it. I think I got, like, a 19% crit damage roll on it. It was a two-slot attack percent. Well, sort of. Okay. Does the... Does this show it? Maybe. Though I doubt it. you can, like, specifically select. Yeah, I don't think there's, like, a select ancient rune-only option. 
you're just gonna have to cycle through it like there's a nemesis in our age and it seems like it puts them on top yeah it would seem so okay the blade uh, defense for set. right I was reacting that because uh, for a second copper I mean it'd be nice it's just because it was a it's a legend yeah, I just feel like Blade's kind of weird on the copper. Yeah, but I mean, if I can get it to roll like 30% crit damage with crit rate... Then fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll do this one. Oh, there you go. Except the HP is... Like, what's going on with What that? is that? That is I a mean... green rune with a lot of HP on it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, one more. Nope. I mean, the... Attack percent would be great for a copper. But eh. I really feel like I don't I don't like blade runes for copper, because I like them on double guard or um, on rage. And I would never not have Will on a slow PvP monster. You got somebody asking a question. Hmm? Eh, so far frustrating, to be honest. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I wish that whenever someone said something in the chat it that it would, sound? yeah, it would make a sound so I could actually you know, look up and, not and see that. For that? No, no, at least not that I know of. But yeah, so far frustrating, but that's because RTA is stupid. Stupid, exactly. And I lost one of my siege battles, which is also stupid. That's... Yeah, because I looked away for like eight seconds, and you go into a fucking comp with something that I would have highly recommended against. I swear, I need to babysit you when you're doing Siege. Just to make sure you don't have any losses. Well, that's the whole reason I even tolerate you. Yeah, it's because I have great advice. <laughs> yeah, tooting your own horn there, buddy. Not really. I've just made enough mistakes to know better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then I have this one over here antagonizing me the entire time. Because that, that, that's all, that, that's his whole purpose, is to antagonize me. Yeah. That is, like, the center of his being, the... It's his truth. That's why I was born. I was put onto this world <laughs> just to piss you off. Exactly. Dick. <laughs> you know it. Do I have anything I can re <laughs> Start looking for crit damage runes, attack percent runes, rage, fatal, blade, not... Mm, uh, blade, maybe. Uh, that. Yeah, but I'm could, pretty sure that's, that's a rare. rare. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean, to be fair, every I mean, I have. Oh, no, crit rate in this spot, I can't go up. Never mind. Uh, uh, I mean, double shield a Kamamir. I mean, th this is the thing that, that frustrates me about this. A voice behind you that is good and bad. Yes, exactly. He, he's like. My subconscious, except it actually exists. Oh, I'm much because, louder than a subconscious. Because he, he, he's right there. Say hi, skinny. I'm not that skinny. <laughs> You're six foot, 125 pounds. Get some meat on your ass. But wait, wait, hold on. No, no, no. If I had some meat on my ass, it'd be kind of disproportional. That'd be weird. That'd be nice. I, I'd rather meet, like, you know, proportionately everywhere. No! What? I don't like being cold all the time. <laughs> you have a warm butt. <laughs> yeah, but that, that doesn't bother me if it's cold. Now, like... I, I have to give my boyfriend a hard time because, you know, him gaining weight is, like, next to impossible. He can't do it. No, it's literally fucking impossible. I managed to get up to 132 pounds when I was doing nothing but working out and chugging half and half milkshakes for, like, a month and a half. And nope. that's just not healthy. No, God, no. <laughs> that's heart attack just waiting to happen. Dude, that's too much damn sugar. And heart problems already run in your family as is. I don't even like sugar. No, you do not. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't have, really have anything I can re-app either. Man, that's frustrating. I still got the five-star Lulu and Megan. Well, what about that Will rune that you rolled? I don't remember what it rolled. Not that one. I think it wasn't that one. Where'd it go? Did you not buy it? Or did you just stick it on somebody? 
that will rune um, from the guild shop yesterday. It was a legendary uh, six star will rune, uh, three slot. Did you stick it on somebody? Oh, right. Okay, yeah, you stuck it on somebody. Yeah. God, that is a nice HP roll. Megan, I can see. Now, I mean, I haven't built Lulu myself. I know people say that she's good. I dude, just, dude, dude. I'm dude. not touching that one. I, I don't have Lulu built at. No, nope. no, I'm not touching it. Dude. Dude, my friend in that G3 guild, so fucking epic. He's built either two or three of them. Jesus. Actually, I'll, I'll, uh, whenever this TOA is done, I'll show them to you. He has good runes on them. Apparently, he really likes them for Nat, for, uh, nat 4 Siege. Mm. I still mm -hmm. haven't built one. Lauren and Bella to 5 star. Uh, Lauren! I mean, <laughs> Lauren has uses. Bella, great. Yeah, I'm not really the biggest fan of Lauren personally. I feel like, yeah, I, I mean, mean, she's alright, but. I have been screwed over by one in RTA, though. Yeah, because she strips second skill. Yeah, of course. That, that's all. I need to start building more sec first skill strippers. Or not first skill, but like single target strippers. Yeah. That's just, that's stupid. That That is stupid. That shouldn't even be a thing. But you know, Hathor exists. She likes to strip and then put you to sleep, and it's like, fuck! Well, that's what that skill does. It I know! All beneficial effects and then puts you to sleep. Trust me. I know. I don't even think that skill's maxed on mine. Did I ever actually max her? I mean, the only place I ever use Hathor is either, um, like, Hall of Heroes sometimes and Labyrinth. But the majority of the time when I do Labyrinth on a rescue mission, I just end up first skilling with her. Like, she's just insurance in case uh, GN misses a crucial provoke, like, on a cleanser or something. Which usually doesn't happen. So it's like 90% of the time I don't even use Hathor. Lulu, Bella, Lulu, Megan, Vampire, Lord, and Giants. I mean, it'll work as, like, a beginner giant Yeah, uh, I mean, if, as long as it works for you, then more power to you. You get a Sigmaris and throw some crazy... Yeah. <laughs> I and Sigmaris, that, uh, that's always a good choice for giants. It's, Sig hits so hard. Yeah, I mean, I just recently pulled my Sigmaris out of my giants team, but that's because I pulled Tashar. Yeah, Tashar... Yeah. God, yeah. you need, like, can I give you my mana just so you can 15 everything? Well, the reason why the runes aren't 15 is because it's a shit rune. Eh, good shit enough. rune, shit rune. They're all shit runes. I'm not going to 15 a shit rune. I do. Because if you have nothing better. I might get Sig to replace Vampire Lord. Um. He attack yeah. breaks, hits much harder. Yeah. Sig would be a good replacement for that. He actually has um, an AoE. Because, I mean, you already have Bella, so, I mean, the Vampire Lord doesn't really bring much to the table. Um, Attack buff, but... Yeah, but he's running that. Megan. Yeah. Honestly, I'm just not really a big fan of the Vampire Lord. Like, I six-starred him as soon as I got him, thinking, like, oh, woo, LD and F5, I'm sure you'll find a place for him, and it's just like, uh, where do I use you again? I don't even know. Yeah, I mean, uh... Then again, I pull Nat Fives, and I'm just like, where the hell do I use you again? Just because I got so damn used to not having them. I mean, that's what my Aragar looks like. I mean, he's not on great runes by any means, but he works. But and I how, just, yeah, when have you used him? I only use him for light raid. So you actually have him in a team? Yeah. I don't even use mine there. I use him in light raid. That's it. Your light raid have a 100% win rate? Or yeah. at least 100% triple S rate? Yeah. Okay. I use him, but Sig is far away. Ah, okay. I don't like that he multi-hits. So you, I feel like you'd be better off with an extra twin. I mean, if it's going to multi-hit, you might as well just throw in something that multi-hits harder. <laughs> right? Slow over some of those defense percents? Dude, I have a lot of defense percents. It's just... I, I mean, they're all reaps. It's just... It's a defense percent. I want HP. Yeah, but a defense percent can be like Copper, Ramahan, Dozer... Zinc. Yeah, that's going to be hard to replace. Uh, what's his crit rate? 70. Yeah, that's going to be hard to replace. <laughs> and then Bulldozer. Where's Bulldozer? I have the basic runes on. So the ones that came with him whenever you summoned them. And then... I, I stole those runes from my Lucian. I mean, that's going to be a little tricky to replace because of 19% current damage, so... And you don't need the crit rate, so and, yeah. And don't get me wrong, it's the same thing. And technically, I do need it. Oh, well, fuck it, man. 69's good enough. 
eventually you'll see him not crit on something and you'll be like, No, I've already seen I have it. Multiple times. I'm just waiting for him to do back-to-back -back non crits I'm gonna be like, really? <laughs> oh man, especially if you hit something like a command. <laughs> Hmm. You don't have any crit damage rooms? Oh, I think I actually have a couple. I think I have a shield one. Yeah. What's that? Well, that actually is decent. It's a legend. I mean, you just need an attack switch. But then again, I don't know. When I do shield nukers, I like them to have speed subs. I Honestly, I might suggest reappraising that one. I, I mean, you can always use away from more the shield save. rooms. What the fuck is that nonsense? Get out of here. Three months away from sake. Well, that's not too bad. I mean, progress is progress, right? Another nasty. Come on, crit rate speed or crit rate attack percent. Fuck. Nope. <sighs> Today's not my day. Susano and Mina from Summons. Nice. Who is Mina? Uh, Mina, uh, water cat. Oh. So, uh, fusion food. Huh? Susano's really good, though. I mean, he's also fusion food, but... Yeah. Susano will do some friggin' damage. And he's actually a little bit harder for things to kill, just because of that crit mitigation pass that he has. I think it's impossible for a fire monster to crit on. I have a bane against Horus. A bane against? I'm trying to figure out what you mean by that exactly. You mean like Horus's are your bane? Or you have something that's Horus's bane? And which Horus? I think he's saying that he summoned uh, the Wind Horse from his legendary. Oh. Yeah, those are actually really good. Mm -hmm. I need to build a third. KB5. Or just, you know, a third Copper Dozer Comp, because you know how I am with defense based nukers. I love them so much. I mean, dude, they hit like a truck and they can take a hit themselves. Yeah. So it's not like, you know, Theomars pokes it, Violent Procs pokes it again, Violent Mystic Procs Scroll pokes it again. Oh, okay. Oh, so you pulled uh, two of them. Well, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, multiple Amesides is great. I mean, I'm working God, on building yeah. a, a second one myself. And he's going to be building his third soon. Though the third's more specifically for uh, R5. Yeah. With that one very specific team. Though, sure. I mean, if I had more Copper Dozer runes, I would totally build as many Amesides as I could get. Because they're so cheaty. They really are. I mean, believe me, I'd love to build ten Copper Dozer comps and then just be like, oh, whatever, Siege, I don't care where I am. Copper Dozer and everything. You could probably copper, you could probably find at least eight, eight comps to Copper Dozer. In each Siege. Like, and then Lucian the other two. Yeah, exactly. Because, you know, you can't either, like, you can't make a defense against both. You can either Copper Dozer or you can Lucian it. There you go. Unless there's a Light Panda. Then you don't really want to do either. Oh, sneeze. Oh. I'm still mad about the damn Light Panda. They basically gave him the friggin' old skill back. I know, but, and then Molong. But Molong's but Mo Long Mo still over here like, oh, I'm just like... The hell do I do? Got mods from every fusion. Yeah, that's not particularly surprising. I mean, I remember whenever I first started Summoner's War, uh, I pulled a lot of the fusion monsters, and... Fuck, I pulled Sigmaris out of a damn mystical scroll. Yeah, I remember that. And I've still never pulled any other Phoenix. I'm kind of mad about that, actually. <laughs> that could have been a Perna or a Tishar, man. Yep. God, imagine having Tishar that early on for all the SD farming. Oh my god. Oh man. That would just be mm -hmm. disgusting. Uh, 
Or, or with the expensive. runes that we have now. Have you used your uh, your Tashar in the time limit yet? Uh, yes. Is it God? If I manual it past a certain point, yes. Oh, man. But I have to manual it past a certain point because, you know, derpy. Yeah. Everything derps. And always pair with Shyena. Come to us. So there's Fix always your AI. Break. Yeah, always pair him with Shyena, so there's always a defense break. So that he always kills something with his third skill, so it's always not on cooldown. Two Sig, two Valkyria, two Fire Pen, two Light Paladin. Wait, you have two Sigmaris and No, um I had I don't know. Or I think it might mean he has two monsters from each fusion. Oh okay. Yeah, okay. Well the light paladin is disgustingly OP. Yeah. Though she's definitely more of an end game. Yeah, kind of. I mean, she helps out in Labyrinth a lot. Because I can do that shame free now. I mean, the only Doesn't tower. feel good? Yeah. I mean, the only tower I don't have max is my light tower, but. You don't have any light new creatures? No. I max mine because I used to use Tosi a lot, but now it's just like, what's Tosi mm -hmm. again? I don't know. Mm, should I? Who gets the double bond? I mean, to charge just a nuker. I'm assuming your Olivia's max. Because, I mean, you're starting to use her. Oh, you could very well give it to her. What let other me, options do you well, have? Well, let me make sure I don't have a skill up in storage. Yeah, because I don't like doing that unless you have to. But, I mean, you've got Bramahan built, so, like... You're going to be using her a lot. Oh, got a skill up right there. There you go. You don't even have to <laughs> guilt of that. I want to get newer. Sig, but I would lose some healing. Well, okay. Uh, I mean, if you're if we're talking about the team that you said that you were using earlier, you just pull out Aragar and throw in Sigmaris. You don't need the extra healing from Aragar because Bella should be enough to, you know, maintain your team. Um... The main, eh, the, really the main thing, though, is you have to obviously make sure that your Bella's max skilled. Is your Bella max skilled? The most important thing is to have a reliable attack break. Because if you're, you know, taking more than just a couple turns to kill the giant, he will murder you if he doesn't have an attack break. Not fully skilled? Um, try to see if you can get some, uh, secret dungeons. Um, I don't remember which other elements. There's RSDs, the I think it's the light, water. dark, and water. water. Yeah, I think it's light, dark, and water. Um, so on any of those days, all you need to do is, you know, just wait for an SD to pop up and then farm it. Or that way you can, can actually just... get your Bellamax skill, because having Bellamax skill is, it's... Worth it. Or just <laughs> save your Inugamis for skill ups whenever you're farming Feynman for experience. Yeah, that is the other option. Let's see, trying to find a secret dungeon is disgustingly annoying. Uh, but let's see. Options would be Bulwark, Samoth, Chandra, Water Monkey, Chow. Water Monkey is not a bad option. Yeah, it's just, I have no skill ups in them right now. Yeah, at all. that being said, though, Water Monkey's crazy for RTA, and you were yeah. just talking about needing to build more single target strippers. Well, yeah, He's one. Just, I, I don't have the god violent runes. Yeah, you'd want to put him on like Swift, or not, either Swift or uh, Violent. I think I might do Chow, because he has one of my siege defenses. You could do Chow. Chow's good. I just don't usually like to do things that are specifically nukers. Uh, Lulu is keeping team alive. I mean, Lulu is always, you know, a good choice. They made her actually pretty good. I mean, I'm not really too familiar with her change and whatnot, but, I mean, everyone says that she's good, so... Uh, right, right, that's what I was going to do. 
We'll go ahead and do just a couple more summons. We'll keep the elemental scrolls. No, let's go ahead and pop two more mystics. See if we get anything. No, and nope. Nada. I want to save uh, the rest because when is Zyrus even in any of these? No. Okay. Which means you have a lot of time to save them up. Oh God! Yeah. Oh God. Yes. And yeah, remove harmful effect is great, especially in in giants. Whenever you're first starting out, you need to be able to get that defense break off of you. Otherwise, the giant will just mess you up. <laughs> Also, PG name, I'll go ahead and leave this decision with you. Should I go ahead and pop more summons? Yes or no? If I don't, they're going to be getting saved for a mass summoning for whatever Zyros pops up probably in the next month. Because right now he's not in any of these rotations, so no point in really doing much, but I can burn through my mystical scrolls. I'll leave the decision with you. Should I summon them? It's so frustrating how I can't get, cut this damn cyst out of my ear. Can you go for me, please? You need to go to a doctor. And then he's just going to be like, Oh, well, it's not really that big of a deal. I don't want to do it. And I'm just going to be like, I've been trying to cut it open my damn self for months. And then I'd have to friggin... Oh, God. Why would I have to pay a doctor to cut something out of my damn earlobe? It's just friggin' something in my damn earlobe. Now I'm bleeding all over the place. Silent. How many crystals do you have? 3600. And you still have an TOA? Uh-huh. Buy two packs. You'll end up with about 4,000 when you're done TOA. Plus... You'll get the siege reward too. And then it'll give you a reason to actually do your damn TOA. Alright, and hopefully you'll have better luck than when I did this the other day. So I bought three and I got two lightning. No, I got one lightning. Yeah. Because I had two legendary scrolls. All right, mystical scrolls, it is. Okay, I'm gonna one lightning. So hard if you get Zara. Nope. Well, he's a really good thing to have a bunch of. <laughs> I mean, you can never have too many commands. Fire scrolls too? Nah. Oh, okay. Loving the lightning. Man, it's all over the place. <laughs> Des destroy a tree! <laughs> log out, log back in, do something! Oh, I don't believe in any of that superstitious crap. Yeah, I don't either. It's just fun. Okay, there we go. Another lightning. Okay, another one of her. Yay. I got Chasun from, uh, from one of my TOA scrolls. Because that's totally a verb, right? Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't mean to skip that, but okay. Three lightning! Oh, well, that's average lightning right Okay, basically. well, whatever. I, mean, I got a skill up for, uh, what's her name? Oh, yeah, you only need one more if you're lucky, right? If I'm lucky. Good luck. Shit. Come on. Come on, third skill. Oh, no! I mean, to be fair, you want her maxed anyway, but... Ah. Uh. Sad day. Do that remove beneficial effects. I want to remove harmful effects. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was going to show you Rose Lulu's. How many more does she need on her second skill? Yeah, well, she only gets uh, one on her second skill. It was at three. Oh, her second. I'm sorry. I thought you said third. Sorry, my brain is not all there today. Don't mind me. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out how many you need if you're unlucky. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. Uh, damn. Because you do want that second skill max. First skill... Screw it, but you know. And I doubt he has these guys in his storage. Oh, Ro finally did get his G1 finish. He was uh, C3 forever. Oh, jeez. He actually second awakened to Lucia. So he has one Lulu out of storage. First skill, I think, heals too. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, Lulu's actually pretty good. It's just so squishy. Yeah, you need good runes on her. Or it, shim, whatever the fuck it is. With a name like that, pretty sure that's a girl. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, look at Beretta. That's technically a female name. And you've bitched at me forever for calling him a her, so it's a shim. It is confirmed by Com to us that Beretta and that entire family are male. Okay, what about friggin' the Inagamis? Those are confirmed that they're male, yet everybody calls Bella a chick. Yep. We still need to, like, crop in a big censored bar between Bella's legs, so every time somebody refers to him as a her, you can just post it. Ha <laughs> ha! I mean, a big censor bar, because it's Bella. He deserves being endowed, right? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so, I don't want to do the summons uh, like that, but, you know, whatever. We'll get a lot more. It is stuff to go through TOA. But the next summons are going to be whenever Zyros does pop up in the rotation, which is most likely going to be next month sometime. So, stay tuned. <laughs> Again, for those of you watching this on YouTube, streams are held every Monday at 2 p.m. CST or 6 p.m. CST or at some point in between. I stream every Monday, that's the whole point. And if you want to come hang out at one of the streams, there is going to be a link to my Twitch channel in the description below. So if you'd be so kind, please consider giving that a follow. Would love to have you come out and just chat with us. I, we like doing it. Plus, you get to watch this one antagonize me and me just, in general, get... <laughs> get butthurt at this game. Hey, it's not my fault you suck. I'm gonna hurt you later. He I'll hurt sucks you back. cause he's a faggot! What he said in the background. If you even heard. Yeah, you probably heard that. My microphone's good. Yeah. There is no streaming in peace in this house. It's not possible. It can't be done. I'm gonna start streaming at work. Screw all of you. <laughs> That's gonna be the one time you get a site inspection in the middle of your stream. <laughs> oh god, that'd be fun. Hey guys, this is my boss! He's like, what the fuck are you doing? Killing time. <laughs> exactly. Not sleeping. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Something along those lines. <laughs> but that's what, you know, that's what keeps things fun. God knows I love him, but my God, can he be frustrating. If you haven't gotten used to me yet, you never will.
The person I call my significant other who met them with for eight years. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's that's that one, folks. Yep. Yep. So when are we getting a divorce? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, we're married? When did that happen? I was about to say, I'm pretty sure you gotta put a ring on his ring. Uh, on his ring, or ring. Yeah, Where, where's the ring, Zan? Yeah, I don't yeah. I don't have to, somebody bought it for you. You broke ass scrub? Where the fuck's his What he at? said. No, I'm, I'm just taking advantage of some weirdo buying him a ring. So I'm just like, okay, that means I don't have to get one for him. Yeah, cheap bastard. <laughs> Rather than just getting all jealous of like, oh, this dude just bought my boyfriend a ring. I'm just be like, okay, I don't have to buy you one now. See? How many people do you know would come up with that outcome? Pretty much no one, right? Uh, yeah, I'm inclined to agree with that, actually. <laughs> I don't think there's anyone out there who would have that mindset. If I'm a vampire, I'll order runes to save when puppy. I get him. I mean, it's not bad, but hopefully by then you'll actually have some better runes that you can throw on Sigmaris. Uh, Sigmaris definitely deserves some pretty legit runes. Side note, he also, doesn't need to be attack crit damage attack, like yeah. everyone says. Yeah, you, you want him really fast with good crit rate and very high crit damage. Like, yeah. screw his attack. He'll hit hard enough. Yeah. Oh, wow, your Siggy has only 800 attack? Well, yeah, it's because I changed his runes recently. You know, that actually would be a perfect comparison. Show uh, what your Sigmar's hits on, like, something, and then show what mine hits on something. It's not even going to be that big of a difference. Because I have crazy attack on mine. You're going to have to do a dungeon. I don't feel like refreshing energy. <laughs> uh... Well, shit. You don't have any in your inbox? Well, of course I have energy in my inbox. The whole point is I don't want to do it. <laughs> well, you might as well. You have to run through TOA anyway. I just don't feel like doing it right now. That's what works for. Well, what, then what's like 20 or 30 energy going to hurt? For science. Oh my god. Alright. Okay, well, I just do this. Yeah, see? 20 energy. And and Sigmar is your rep. No, no you're, you're, your rep. No, you're gonna have to just log into my uh, my uh, account on that, which only takes five seconds anyway. Make sure you manual it so you get both skills out, and preferably do it without branding, just in case it doesn't land on the one where you're using a rep, because you get you get no do overs. I'm just gonna exit out of this TOA round. It'll take too long. Oh my god. <laughs> I love you, Galleon! Eh, you can just cycle it through. Yeah, don't do branding. Just in case it doesn't land. Alright, so, Sigmar's third skill? Third and second. Alright, so third skill, with mine being on the crap build that it's on, pops a 39,000. And then with his second skill, he pops a 38,900. Finish this guy off. Okay. Me, you. And one second. Go ahead and uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and switch accounts here. 
and I'm gonna make sure to pull my one fight set out of Whoop. my team as well, because that would also give an unfair advantage. I just have to put my other Sabrina in. You know what the second one is, right? Okay. Alright. Also, is your sig on will? Oh, uh, no, he's on energy. Uh, oh, okay. Alright. And then just show what mine looks like first. All right, so his Sigmaris has a lot more attack than mine. A little bit less crit damage, though. I think there's the 222. Oh, uh, well, HP is great on Sigmaris if you're using him in TOA, but honestly, you still want to put him on, like, an attack rune. Just put him on speed, crit damage, attack. Don't put him on attack, crit damage, attack. Now, keep in mind, his runes are nuts. So, you know, his Sigmaris has plus 1,500 attack on a speed rune. So the difference, I have a little bit more crit damage than him, but he has, like, almost what? Double, almost plus double the attack. <coughs> yeah, almost <laughs> plus double the attack. So, not, not to you, wait. Okay, so I'll pull the Sabrina out and throw in the one that's in my storage. So there's not a fight set. It's in my storage. The top. Yeah, that one's unbroken. And there's no other fight sets. Oh, wait, pull the Galleon out. Do you have a fight on your Galleon? No. No, okay, put the first Galleon in. He's not on fight set either. Okay. And he's on double shield. Okay. So and don't auto it. Well, yeah. So you actually got a good uh, damage comparison here. Now, his is going to hit harder than mine, but eh, probably not by that much. I think it hits like 44k, so like 5k more. <laughs> is that even... I mean, like, <laughs> it's all crit damage. It's all you need. The only time the attack really makes a difference is if you're hitting, like, the waves. Which, even then, the crit damage, you're probably just going to end up clearing the waves anyway. Alright. Third skill. 41,000 versus my 39,000. He has almost double the attack on his Sigmaris, but it hits a whole whopping 2k harder. Yeah, like, okay. <laughs> Second skill hits a 42,000 versus my basically 39,000. It was like 38,900. Yeah, the so, first skill will deal a lot more damage. Oh, that would just probably kill the boss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The twins hit way so, too hard. So, Sigmaris scales a lot better off of crit damage than he does attack. As you can see, the attack doesn't really make much difference. Nope. It, just, it doesn't. <laughs> nope. So, you know, speed, crit damage, attack works great. The reason you really want him on that speed rune is so he gets a lot of turns to really pump out damage. Uh... Plus, you know, whenever you're fighting the boss, his third skill can attack break the boss, which will help your team overall with survivability <laughs> if you're not quite doing a speed team yet. <laughs> if you have accuracy. Well, mine, yeah. mine very rarely lands any debuffs. Yeah. And he has, what, 12% accuracy, I think it was? Something like that. And you don't have any summons, huh? No, I already summoned, like, everything. And... Oh, yeah. Rip. I mean, I'll have an LD in, like, an, another hour... Because I'm on TOA hard 79. But, I mean, yeah, I mean, chances are by the time you actually fuse Sigmaris, you'll actually have the runes that you need to put them on, say, Fatal Blade, Speed Crit Damage Attack. Fatal Blade is a good set for them. Uh, obviously, you want them on Rage, but I have a sneaking I mean, suspicion you're you not could, in the Necro yet. You could triple blade him. Just, yeah, I mean, you, you can triple blade him. And just only Crit Damage subs. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the nice thing about Sigmaras is he does awaken into crit rate, so he's a lot easier to get that super high crit rate on. Yeah, that's why I put him on that uh, that revenge set. Because, I mean, it's not like the revenge set ever does anything. It's just what I had to give him more crit damage. Yeah. Oops. You can just hit the auto button. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, just keep on, you know, 
going at it because I, I see so many players who come to this game and you know they, they quit after a couple of weeks just because they feel like they can't get anywhere um, but that's primarily because a lot of them don't really actively seek out the help or they just don't know what to search. Uh, which is one reason why I do these streams every week, because I see a lot of new players constantly coming out. And, uh, you know, I, we, we do what we can to help them. You know, we do. Yeah, I'm I, I want to see people. I want to see Summoner's War grow, not, not shrink. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's... I think it's still going. I mean, I know a lot of the big-time players have kind of been weaning off, but... I mean, it's it's still got a pretty legit community. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, asking for advice, never a bad thing. Just don't necessarily follow what people say oh God, in the public never, channels. Never ask advice in a chat. Yeah, ne oh never, never ask for advice in, in, in the public chats. It's That, that is a hold terrible on, idea. On. I'm, I'm just curious. Let's see if anybody says no. Usually I get like mixed reviews. Then again, if somebody looks at my profile, then they yeah. might just think I'm trolling. Usually people are like, no, feed it. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, that, that is always a good idea because, you know, t Twitch streamers, you know, we're definitely a lot more likely to help out. Plus, the way I see it is the more helpful we are, the uh, higher make... likelihood that we're going to get, I don't know, an influx of viewers. Maybe I shouldn't <laughs> have actually said his name. Maybe I should have done uh, Wind, um, what the hell is it, Giant Warrior. Yeah. But then again, it's also the simple thing that all they have to do is look at your profile and be like... Yeah, if they clicked on my profile, they'd be like, oh, this guy's just trolling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. That right, actually well, felt weird you know, to type. Right? <laughs> All right, so I think we're going to go ahead and hop up here. It's a good, solid two-hour stream. PG name. Thank you for coming out, man. Thank you for chatting. do appreciate it. Again, the streams are held every week, every single Monday. Uh, the time tends to vary. Sometimes at 2 p.m. Central, sometimes at 6, sometimes somewhere in between, sometimes a little bit later than that. It's just, it's random. <laughs> oh, and if you ever do want advice, you can add me on Summoner's War. I don't mind either making a room, though. I think I have a spot right now. Yeah. Because I was talking to someone in another game, Here. and they were like, I might join this game. And I was like, well, I'll make a friend spot for you if you want it. Yeah. That's his username. If you want to give him an ad, I'd offer myself, but I currently don't have any room, as I am already helping out several people. Um, but if you ever need advice, you can always poke him. Shit, I can pretty much always make room. Yeah. And believe me, he does not mind giving advice. It's actually like his favorite thing to do. <laughs> I'm also the kind of person that I feel this, like, really powerful urge to know every possible thing about the games that I enjoy, like, mechanics-wise. So, like, I'm one of the few people that actually knows that a fire mummy, just for a random example, who has a passive that reflects 30% damage and takes 30% increased damage... He actually has a 9% damage reduction overall. Oh! You, just, you just whacked your hand against the desk. <laughs> but the reason. Ah, oh, that was on the cuticle. Ow! Like, I did a lot of testing because I noticed, I was like, wait a minute, I feel like he just took reduced damage. Hold up. So I did a bunch of testing, and uh, it seems like the way any monster with reflect damage works is it's damage mitigation before the reflect actually happens. And because he has both a reflect and takes additional damage in his passive, the reflect seems to happen, like the damage mitigation happens first. Then it reflects the damage after damage mitigation is calculated in. So it's actually a 9% damage decrease overall. It's, it's, it's weird. It's weird. <laughs> Very weird. Or like, uh, for example, if you kill a fire mummy, say it's a 1v1 and you hit it with something really hard or you hit it with something that has very little health and the fire mummy dies but the reflect damage also kills the target that attacked it the person who wins is the one with the fire mummy because for some reason that reflect damage is calculated first <laughs> it's just all these weird little mechanics that i just 
I don't know, I just, it, it bothers me not to know if I ever think of something. Well, that and then uh, just a lot of testing and, and things like that. Uh, he and I tend to do a lot of testing things, at least whenever I'm in the mood for it. <laughs> yeah. I'm always, like, bitching at him, and like, hey, RTA me, I want to test the thing. <laughs> and I'm always like, ugh. <laughs> Oh my goodness. But, yes, thank you again for coming out and for chatting, man. Definitely do oh, appreciate it. Oh, you're gonna have fun with this one. Oh, let's see if it works. Come on. Somebody. Somebody get the clutch stun. Come on. Tyron? Oh, well, he got the attack bar control. Yeah, but <laughs> it, it needs to stun. If immunity comes up, it's bad. Come on. Somebody. Somebody! <laughs> Stop it! Or just die from dots. That would work too, but I don't think he has enough. Stun it! Or I think it's whatever. Fine. Yeah. I don't, I don't care. I, I, th I think you're good. <laughs> Side note, Tyron is very overpowered for TOA. <laughs> Dude, he's ridiculous. Anyway, we will see everybody next week on Monday between 2 and 6, somewhere in that range. Just just click on the link in the description and give me a follow. And oh, you'll also, see what what's I your username, by. just in case when I type, people like try to add me? Because that happens a lot. So I don't, like, I'm like, crap, which one was that person? I also probably should stop autoing this soon, because it is about to be a boss stage. I'd like to have cooldowns. Okay, so it's the same. Okay. Yeah, we're good then. Yep. Thank you again. And I'm assuming I did have a friend slot, or did I have to make one still? I'm pretty sure I still had one. I think. If not, I can make space. That's no problem. I'm sure I have somebody on my list that hasn't logged in in at least like a week or something. Alright, let me save my cooldowns. <laughs> Slapping my screen around my fingers. Oh, says you're full. Says I'm full, okay. Yeah, uh, as soon as I'm done with this, I'll um, make a spot. You could end the stream at whatever, or if you wanted to keep it up, doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, actually, I'm going to go ahead and stop recording. That way, uh... It's turning into a TOA yeah. stream. Exactly. It's turning <laughs> into a TOA stream. So to keep all of you on YouTube from dying of boredom, I'll go ahead and sign off. Appreciate y'all watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Yeah, please drop even... a comment down below. And again, there is a link to my Twitch channel in the description if you want to come hang out. I also don't on think I've ever Mondays. seen anybody dislike, say they've dislike, had problems dislike. with this one. Fuck you, Nova! So anyway, we will see y'all in the next one.